Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. I'm gonna do a quick weekend energy type thing, like real quick, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue weekend energy or not. Um, but what I'm gonna do <coughs> for each zodiac is, you know, like current and by over the weekend type thing, right? I just question that, so hold on. I'm just going to say what's happening over the weekend, and I'm going to place them where I want to place them. I'm going to give you, like, I was going to say two cards, but now I'm going to say three, because I was going to say realistically now until Sunday, but, I mean, it's, it's Thursday. It's only, like, a few days, so I'm going to mesh the energy. Briefly, I was trying to go live on... Patreon and I accidentally used the live stream from the live stream method okay so it looked like I was gonna go live this morning so I'm super sorry if I got some of you guys like super stoked um, I will go live on Patreon probably once a week um, and I will give YouTube a heads up on when I do that okay um, I'll probably start that next week so, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, hmm. Well, not right this second, so. I just want to see what element I'm going to start with. I'm going to do fire, air, earth, and then water. Okay. I'm just going to stick those with fire, air, earth, water. Not the best cards. Fire, air, <laughs> earth, and then water. I feel like there's a little story here. I feel like there's a little story here. If someone's definitely waiting for their ships to come in, but something needs to end first before you can invest any time. I mean, it's clear. Okay. So... Let's start with fire. Let's start with Aries. I'll throw you three cards. All right. Aries. Quick weekend. What's going on, with Aries? Okay. So it looks like you're definitely, you know, wrapping something up. You're vibing higher, you know, this free will. There is some type of conclusion here, okay? Well, what I want to say is, like, there possibly could be some type of conclusion here because we have fear at the bottom of the deck, okay? So it's important to raise your vibration if you're fearing a situation, okay? Um, music, meditation, sitting in the sun, you know, um, so it looks like you're making a choice to end something and it's, you know, it's scary or you're making a choice to, yeah, end something so you can start something because it's the conclusion, right? So push through it, do what you can do to get through, okay? Um, for vib vibrations to be here, you know, um... That's telling me you're vibing higher. There's strength. There's discipline. Okay. There's there's something happening with you where it's like it's almost like you're not repeating an old pattern or something. You're strong. Okay. All right. Let's do Leo. Leo weekend energy. Okay, we have vibration, destruction, and pride and ego. Again, okay, um, to me this is, is, is blocking. I hope you're not blocking your vibration or don't let somebody else block your vibration. It looks like there's going to be a shit show that's about to go down. And patience is key. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries because that was their first card out. 
okay? Or, you know, all fire meshed the other day too. I'm just saying in general, you know, be patient on yourself. Be patient with the situation because, yeah, there's this settling. So don't, don't settle. So, but the dust may settle. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I'm not going to lie. You're going to have to block out this type of energy. I just had rumors. What's that song? Rumors have rumors. Rumors got it. Rumors something. So I don't know if there's rumors or drama. It's like putting your foot down. You're dealing with a stubborn ass energy though. So music, whatever you want to do. Um, sometimes like back in the day, guys, when I used to live in my old apartment, I would blare the music and do dishes. And it was my way of like getting lost and meditating. Because honest to God, when the kids would come up behind me or something, I'd be like a space shot. I'd be like, what's up? You know? So whatever's working for you. Okay. So something clearly is going to go down. This is like someone arguing, bitching. Kind of losing their shit, okay? So, beware. <clears throat> Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Weekend energy. Do you believe in love after love? Or do you believe in love after loss? I don't know what that's about. Winner. You've been dealing with something since winter. You've been maybe trying to reinvent yourself since winter, trying to get a job since winter. Something's not working. Yeah, see? Devotion. That's It's like you're not devoting enough time. I can I I felt it. That was so strong. Um I, it's like you've been trying to change something since winter. But it it really has to do with you and being disciplined in a situation. You know? Um this is tough because it is it's like you're going into summer. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. All you have to do is come and I'll come running. You got someone there. You got a spirit guide. You got someone. This has to do with your own personal stuff. It could even be childhood trauma and um, a lot of us sometimes block that and we don't even realize it. But this is someone, you know, this is an energy of being blocked since winter. There's no discipline here. Is that what it was? No, it was devotion. Yeah. Okay, so you really got to go within. And it, it could be a feminine because for some reason, you know, a child is a child. Um, there's something with feminine here. Yeah, look at that. You might just be coming out of something. You may, might have been trying to create something since winter. This has to do with childhood, though, troops. It's, this is like playful energy, too, getting back in tuned. So you got to have dedication. So I, let me put it this way. This is only weekend energy, okay? So if something comes up from childhood and you're like, oh, you know, no big deal. Like, say you're in the car and a song comes on. Or say you're in the car and you get a phone call from your mom and it brings you back to something. Or you go get an ice cream with your own kids and you're like, holy shit, I remember being at the farm as a little kid. Take that moment. Even if it was a good moment, take that moment and jot that down. Because that could be your answer. That's your key to something. It's either your key to healing or your key to finding what's next for you, if that makes sense. Okay? There's something with seasons, too, so you're, you're repeating patterns, so be careful there. All right, so we are moving on to air Aquarius. All right. Yeah. 
What are we at? 10. All right, Aquarius, weekend energy. Fall, winter, spring, summer, fall. All you have to do is call and I'll come running. So, grief, all right, so again, I don't know if something came in. This is like harvest time, or it could just be something from, again, I'm feeling childhood. I don't know why that came to me. Not like Halloween. I'm like, hmm, what is going on with this childhood thing? Because this feels more like um, childhood. But again, holding on to something that needed to be let go of, released. I mean, grief. You've been holding on to pain since at least fall. I don't know if you got back together with somebody. Somebody came back into your life. Something got brought up. There was a release. You know, but this is, you got to let go of something. It, it's weighing you down. It's, it's dragging you down. Yeah, you want that new direction? You know you want it. You know you want it. Could be a comic. Okay. So self worth is is key. What do you deserve? Because this is telling me there's pain. I was gonna say where I get the pain, but there's grief. Grief and pain is a little different. I mean it's it's similar, but this what I'm feeling is is different. I don't know if you didn't get enough love. You were neglected. It's like feeling stuck, clingy. It's like letting go of your comfort zone. So you can step into, I almost said, a brand new world. To be realistic, and I know it sounds like silly, but uh, watching Aladdin, and I know it's a it's child movie, right? But I'm telling you, sometimes they're uplifting. And it's not like, oh, it's a fairy tale. It can be, if you look at a movie and it's very realistic, you know, um, in a very realistic way, it can definitely pump you. I almost said pump your blood. But pump you up. So I'm going to get out of that because I'm not getting into health things. But, uh, I don't know. It's like, uh, I don't, it's almost like, um, you know, it's weird. It pulled me to Ash. Ash is doing, um, like some type of yogurt in the morning. It's something for her white blood cells. So I, I don't know what that's all about. And she doesn't even need to. She just feels like she needs, I, I don't know, it's the oddest thing. So maybe she does need to if her body's telling her that, right? I'm just saying, like, and then pump blood. And then <clears throat> I used to take blood for a living, and I, I loved it. Um, but that was, like, pumping blood. Like, so that's different. I don't know if you're pumping iron, your blood pressure's up. There's something health there, so just be aware of that, too. It could just be the stress. All right, Aquarius, that was so Libra. We can energy for Libra. Libra. Big dreams. Big dreams. Big dreams. So masculine energy here. I don't know if there's something you're dreaming. This could be a little fear. Um, you got to do the shadow work. I don't know if your dreams are telling you something. Or oh, don't let go of your dreams. Compromise. So I don't know if like someone's struggling to compromise here with somebody. This isn't like sad energy, but there's something here. And ironically, I'm not picking up on it. So give me a sec.
blue, the color blue might be really good for you. It is healing water. Water could be good for you. Get near water. Pay attention to your dreams, especially if you're dreaming of a whale. And that's not what this card means either. <sighs> Interpretation of a, a whale in your dream. Yeah, see, it is something about water too, though. It's a will in your dream may be a symbol of your awareness and intuition. Dreaming. This dream is a warning for you to be more social and speak up. Also, this dream should mean you should explore more of your own emotions, which makes sense. It's shadow work. Okay. Whales also mean you may lose something in your life. So I know I felt the sadness, but not like that. It, I mean, it could be a lousy ass friend. It could be, you know, um, and, and to me, it's, that's not like death, okay? It, it's probably the death of like an ego or a death of a situation that's no good. This is why I can't pick up on it. It's going to differ for everybody. It, it's, it's, it's your own thing. To me, it's like you want that dream. You want something. It just might not be the way you thought you were going to get it. Yeah, you're probably dealing with someone ext extremely stubborn too because this energy is like, I have to compromise. You notice like in the dark, face isn't being shown. You got the moon. Back is turned. But trying to vibe. Gotta, gotta do the work. I'm going to do one more for Libra, who, those who are not in that situation. Because that was for somebody in particular. Libra, weekend energy, different group of Libras. Same shit. You gotta do the work. You gotta reinvent yourself. It, some of you legit, and I don't say that word, that's happened before, are playing victim. Why me? Why you? Because you're not in tuned. Could you have honestly been the victim of something? Yeah, but I, I'm not even gonna go there because you just had big dreams. Okay? So it's like you know what you want and you're not going after it. More self-discipline is needed. Shadow work is... Shadow work and Dark Night of the Soul is different, okay? Shadow work is, is you. Somebody could be mirroring you. Someone could be triggering you. You really got to go within. It's, it's your own shit. You can't get help. You know, it's, it's yours. You can only help yourself. And Dark Night of the Soul, someone else can be there in your corner. Um, however... It, it works for you, and you all have guides and spirits that will always be there, but shadow work is, is like, you did something, you know you did it, you didn't give a shit at the time, now you're paying consequences. Don't fuck up again, right? Dark night of the soul, that's different, that's that's dark, that's heavy, it's, it's painful. So to me, you're holding on to something, you know, so instead of going after that dream that you know you want, that vision, you're holding on to judgment. You're holding on to something. And again, compromise. Okay? So, all right. Gemini, Gemini, staying alive, staying alive. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gemini, Gemini. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You're the one that I love. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gemini, weekend energy. Whew, okay. Well, someone's pride is getting in the way, but this is a masculine deciding whether or not to release something. Or this is questioning, if I release this, can I have this? 
this is somebody who got themselves into like a third party or too many people in the picture, letting somebody control certain outcomes. It could be, yeah, definitely let go of the karmic. Or it could be, yeah, let go of the karmic and you can have the other one. You could have lost the other one. What's this? Yes. I let, it's like you're questioning it. If you're questioning whether or not you should let go of something, let it go. Okay. So it's almost like somebody will forgive you and you will be able to go into a new direction. So you're dealing with somebody or vice versa that um, is in air energy thoughts, right? And you could be dealing with any sign, but right now they're all up in their head. But I'd rather dark night of the soul than shadow work. You know, so yeah, somebody will forgive you. So maybe you're wondering, will the comic forgive me if I leave and go in a new direction? But see, judgment. You're worried about somebody else passing judgment on you. It brings me back to that reading I did. Stop acting like the black sheep of the family if you're not actually going to do what the black sheep does. Because this is you worried about somebody else. Okay. Um, so you want that new direction? Go after it. You want that dream? Go after it. It's ironic because that happened, the, that happened in all the air and fire had that same message yesterday with all the fire. So it's almost like the masculine's in air energy this weekend. All right, let's move on to earth. Earth, what are we at? 22. Taurus, weekend energy for Taurus. Happy birthday to my babies. signs I opened up my eyes awesome signs so again there's a karmic victim okay somebody playing victim to me they've seen the signs you've seen the signs okay um or you just started seeing the signs it's still spring it's like learn the lesson move forward or you know you're dealing with something shady as shit because look at their back's turned. Maybe somebody's with their karmic and somehow you were in the middle of something and now you see the signs and you're like, fuck that. Let me enjoy my spring. But others of you with victim, I mean, yeah, you could have been a victim. Someone could have lied to you. But you got forgiveness. You got the same thing. So hold on. What's the signs? I saw the signs. Yeah, this is surrendering. Okay, there's like a new soul family. There's like a, a, a new, something better for your soul. Okay. Um, something ancient here. Something with past lives here. So, you this is surrendering, right? So, it's, it's doing the right thing. Sacrificing. So, I don't know. There had to have been a, a, a big deal here. A marriage, long time commitment. But again, if you're questioning it, it's it's time to be out. Okay. Um, again, only weekend energy. One more for Taurus. You have family and received. All right, it's, it's time to take action. So I don't know if you're giving a message to family. I don't know if you have family with somebody. But that action's like that. Like, you're going to surrender. You know there's something else. You know it's the right time. Yeah, you're in the process of healing. It, it's still tough because all this is on your mind, though. Okay. So hang in there. Only uh, weekend energy. All right, Virgo. Yeah. 
Virgo, Virgo. Healing. Time to take care of yourself. Unawakened. And commitment. It's like someone didn't see something. Yeah, see, there's a lesson. Someone didn't see something coming. Didn't want to see it. Because this is like... It's your chakra. So this is like work that's already been done. It's like coming into inner peace even if you're sad. You know, this is this is like a, another karmic. This is somebody who was just meant to come in. A karmic or a catalyst that was meant to come in and end something. Or wake you up so you know that the right person is out here for you. Yeah, got to let something go in order for something to come in. It's a tough, it's a tough let go. But to me, it's like you're healing. It's like you're already healed. Now you're working on yourself. You're vibing differently, you know. Um, so I don't know if past is going to try to stroll back in and, and trigger some of you guys. I don't know what's going on there. Capricorn. Capricorn, or there's somebody that, you know, could just be fearing and you need to work on it. So Capricorn, see, again, you know, it, this is just holding on to something for way too long. You got to let it go. You got to heal. Water might be really good for you guys. I just heard like, you're melting. You know, you went from ice to water. Cycles, patterns. Numb. So. <sighs> that numb is like, I can't believe it happened. It was like the card that was just here for Virgo. I don't remember what it was. And I just didn't. There's something that was just in the Virgo read. That is the same exact message of, of numb. Oh, unawakened. Like, didn't want to see it. Like, oh my god. You know? This is like, you will heal. Um, like, we've all had karmics. We've all had situations. We've all had pain, loss. You will heal. You heal. You will overcome. And it's like being in the same energy as like your first love or this and that. And it's like, you never think you're going to get over it, but you do. And I, I hope I didn't sound too harsh there. Yeah. See, conclusion. It's like, it's wrapping up. Okay. So let's go to water. Water, 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 water. Cancer, please. Weekend energy for cancer. Cancer. Again, it's like, can't believe it. Okay? Like, can't believe this is happening. It's like seeing something. I'm going to purge. So you might be linked to a Capricorn. Or it's just, we have every propensity in our chart, right? So, it's like, oh, I can't believe I didn't see that. And again, it's like not wanting to face something. It's, it's very emotional energy. Can't believe that happened. Or don't do the whole why me, you know? Vibe high. Music, whatever, whatever works for you. Because this is like, wow, can't believe I didn't see it. 
can't believe this is happening. It's like someone's fearing moving forward. So don't stay in the energy of, wow, can't believe that happened. Like, do something about it. You know what I mean, Jelly Beans? Don't, don't get stuck in that. Put music on. Go outside. Do something. Scorpio. Scorpio. You're being guided. Someone's just watching. Wow, this is totally different energy. Totally different vibe from all the other zodiacs I just did, my little scorps. Okay? You're definitely being guided. Stop watching. Stop stalking. Stop, you know. So this is instead of, like, taking action. And I understand this patience. So I don't, I don't know if somebody's losing their shit looking at photos, looking at messenger. Are they going to text me? Are they not? What are they doing? <clears throat> It's almost like being haunted. Like spirits almost like haunting somebody. Kessel, chill out. She just came in here in chaos. Panic. So, and her tail's going, so she's pissed too. So this is that what's going on there. Someone's losing their shit. And it's like spirits like calm the fuck down. It's so almost like it's just driving someone, yeah, see, surrender. It's driving somebody nuts. I don't know if they feel pressured. And this is somebody who likes to take their time. Okay, so, whew, that that's... It is different energy, but um, that's like someone losing their shit. Acting like something's okay. It's like spirits poking them too. This could be, could be doing spiritual research too. Yeah, no, see, this is somebody playing victim. See, they're losing their shit. It's like they need a break. They need a pause. They need to gather their composure. You know what I mean? This is not spirit being like, you are a victim. It's okay. But then not really seeing something. Yeah, no, it doesn't work that way. This is someone playing victim. Yeah, see, somebody needs to wrap something up here. This is somebody losing their shit. It's like something's on hold and they're like, what the fuck? And I, if it wasn't for the cat coming in like a crazy loon, okay, and she's 16 years old, uh, you know, and she was like, Phew. but it is karma energy. So this could be somebody that just needs to like take a chill pill. You know, you fucked up. Take a chill pill, you know? But this is like stalking, looking at photos, why? Like, I'm right back to going nuts. Okay? So, Pisces. My little fishies. Pisces, please. Balancing of the scales. Return of the Mac. In crossroads so somebody wants to come back but this is nice okay I love that there's well you might need to create balance again but it's somebody uh, somebody's coming back and wants to come back uh, yeah see I'm like uh, I don't know it's gonna be different for all of you something's gonna go in your favor though it's justice And then it's like, you're going to have to make a decision on whether or not you want it or you want to wrap it up. 
someone's probably hoping you're going to understand a situation. So you're going to find yourself like at a crossroads, like what do I do? Like even if it's a simple text message, do I reply? And I know it seems more than guys, but it, it, it is because a simple text message or replying to somebody or sharing energy can drastically change a situation for good or bad. But it's like something going in your favor. So it could even be like you got a message and you're like, nope, not doing it. And by you doing that and by you wrapping it up and understanding a situation, you know, um, it might be easier for you to move forward. Let's just get one more for Pisces. Ooh, something was reversed. Oh, I just put them in wrong. One more for Pisces. So you're going to be like kind of feeling stuck. Do I do it? Do I not? Inner child and devotion. So again, it, it's up to you. Work on you. Work on something else. Yeah, see? Bottom of the deck. Deception. So... You know, like I said, it could be that one text message that changed things drastically and you go down the, the wrong route. Or you lie and you're dealing with something karmic. Again, you should be taking care of yourself. Take care of yourself so if someone comes back around, just, just be careful. Yeah, see, it's like an unawakened energy. So it, it's like, it's tough. All right, y'all. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Remember, this is just weekend energy, okay? Um, you can shift your own energy. And if you're not going through this and it's not resonating, that's great. Go sit outside. Get your toes dirty. Go to water. Hang out with friends, family, yourself, the yard. Take a walk. Walk the dog. You know, go into town, um, you know, go for a walk and pick up some stones, some, some rocks, look for certain shapes, you know, go on a treasure hunt, like write yourself a little scavenger hunt, go find some pine cones. I know it sounds silly, but you got to get out of your head. Okay. Um, and others of you maybe just do it for fun. Okay. Enjoy your weekend. I love you guys so much.